27-year Lillian Aero started a small project of making local jewelry out of papers and beads and other crafts in her village Namgongo near Kampala. Widows and single mothers here face the greatest challenges of poverty. Lillian taught women in her community to make jewelry for exchange of money to help them. I started up with a capital of 10,000 shillings by buying the materials, that is the papers and cutting them, and then uh, the strings that we use for making the whole bead, the locks and all that. So I, f I gave it to the women and the women started making them. The project enabled the women to better their lives, pay school fees for their children and support their families. They brought us these products and we roll these papers. We make bags, jewelry and hair bands. We get money out of it to help us. Before, we were breaking stones. We were tired. It was tiresome. They hurt. But now we are making this and we rest from stone breaking. What they earned in their previous work in the stone quarry was much less. It was also a hard job for them and unhealthy. We've been talking about projects, we talk about businesses. The Educate program these. teaches but school today, students uh, to create social enterprises like the jewelry making business. How many people it have equips them with the financial and innovative skills to address what the issues of unemployment, domestic violence and poverty in their communities. Educate mentors teach differently. There are subjects like economics and uh, entrepreneurship in schools, but they are just for the purpose of passing. Here in Educate, entrepreneurship is uh, for the purpose of us doing something and transforming lives. People at the end of it all have gotten jobs, have gotten enterprises that are really helping them sustain their lives through school. Like here in Kabale High School, educate mentors teach 1,400 students all over Uganda. During the weekly lessons, students often leave the classroom to do practical work and creative arts. They also extend the knowledge they acquire to other students. What I like from educate program is that it teaches us skills of life, how to start businesses, how to run it, and Okay, how to help others come out with what we've also learned from Educate. The current education leaves the youth unprepared to create and lead solutions. 83% of young people in Uganda are unemployed. Educate empowers youth to create jobs. The program's founders ensure the course is success with the mentors on the ground. The first objective of Educate is to see to it that every youth at least has a passion for their community. Youth that mind about their communities and that are ready to address Uganda's most pressing problems. Lillian, one of the former students of Educate, is hoping to improve her business of jewelry making. Her future plans are to include activities such as tailoring and cookery to improve the living conditions of the people in her community. We want to grow from being just at home like this, being in a very small place without any shelter, to building a very big organization which will include in the different kind of skills that women can acquire. To help more people like these women from Uganda, Educate hopes to launch its program in schools all over Africa.